Hey there. <laughs> I can't believe we're back. We're back. We're back. We've been we've been back for weeks. We've weeks. been back for weeks. True. Yes. And now it's almost fall, and it is so dreary and dark out right now. All I want is soup. So we are making a cauliflower and potato cream soup today. Ready? Ready. All right, so I've already washed my cauliflower and I've taken the bottom, like all the leaves off. And you just want to section off the florets and I'll cut them a little bit smaller so that they don't take as long to roast. Okay. People will probably complain about how I'm cutting up my cauliflower. But whatever, whatever works for you will be just fine because in the end, we're just going to blend it all anyways. Yeah, I would totally cut it differently. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want them to at least be equal size so that they all kind of roast evenly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was one head of cauliflower. And I'm going to use one onion. And you can use up to two if you like. And I'm going to cut them into eighths. Add them to my pan. And I have three potatoes. And these ones I'm going to cut into eighths as well. No funny remarks today, dude. No, you haven't done anything funny yet. But it'll come. It's <laughs> like, an inevitability. Like that, like that actually stops you. I, can't, I just can't make up something. <laughs> you make up stuff all the time. All right, and now just salt and pepper. I don't know how much that is, like maybe a teaspoon or so. And some olive oil, say so maybe two tablespoons altogether. And then just mix it up. You don't have to keep the potatoes separate, but I find it's easier for when I flip them over later. Okay, and then this is going to go into a preheated oven at 425 degrees, and you're gonna roast them for 45 minutes um, and flipping, like going in and flipping them um, about halfway through. Okay. Right, so it's been about 22 to 23 minutes and I'm just gonna take the vegetables out. And we're gonna flip them over. They really do need a smell of vision. <laughs> it smells good, right? Yeah. You will find that the bottom is more brown than the top, which is why we're flipping it all over. Right, so they're going back in for another 22 to 23 minutes. Okay, I have about five minutes left before my vegetables are completely roast or finished roasting. So I'm just going to heat up my broth first, and I'm just using a Costco brand organic chicken broth. And you're going to need six cups, but I only have this one left, so I'm adding two cups of water instead. It's going to be watered down. It'll be fine. 
You know what? And if you don't want to use chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth. You can use water. Well, water probably won't be as tasty, but it will still be tasty. I think anyways. I have two cups of water. And now, turning it on, heating it up. No need to film that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> People know how to turn on their stove, okay? I beg to differ. <laughs> oh, those are fighting words. Okay, so we're just going to wait for the rest of the vegetables to be roasted and for this to be heated up. Vegetables done. Broth is heated up. And now I'm just going to transfer all of this into my pot. so sure that it's done. It is done. There, see my potato. I can cut through with a plastic spoon. I wasn't calling you out like you were a fraud or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what? The lazy way that I would do this. No. Don't. I won't because I will cause splatter. Oh, I know what. You were going to fold up <laughs> that parchment paper and just like dump it in there. Yep. Oh, and for people who might be new to my channel, I like to use parchment paper so that it makes for easier to clean up. But you don't have to use parchment paper if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. <laughs> you don't like cauliflower? You don't even have to watch this. But you should. It's but good. you should because, yeah, it's true. Cauliflower roasted is so much better than not. Then I am just going to blend up our soup. I am so loving this, um, whoops, hand blender. If you knew how to use it. <laughs> use it. I love that it's cordless. <laughs> And powerful. Okay, so you're blending till it's all smooth. And if you don't have a hand blender, you can just dump everything into a regular stand up blender or a Vitamix, whatever you have. And I'm just going to turn this back on to medium heat. And I'm going to add a cup of whipping cream. Okay, just one cup of whipping cream. I know it's a full liter, but I did not have a full liter in there. Just FYI. Huh. <laughs> I'm going to heat this through. Sorry. And salt and pepper. I'm going to say start with um, about half a half a teaspoon of salt and go from there and pepper if you find that it is too thick and you want it to be more thin just add more water or more chicken broth um, but this is the perfect consistency if you ask me and yeah hopefully you'll find it tasty because now it's time for the taste. Kids are home, right up. Taste, taste, taste. Mmm. <laughs> Very tasty. So he's eating a crouton if that's what what if Oh yeah, it's not in the soup, but the roasted cauliflower. And the vegetables. What are the vegetables? Potato. And it's um. Is it, yeah. Hmm. It's good. Great. It's tasty. Just in time. Hmm. Mm. All right. So I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. It's nice to be home. Uh, we miss being out on the road. 
There are some vlogs and some recipes that are still on the way from, um, from our trip. So we hope that you will continue to tune in. And if you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel and share. Please share the videos yes, if please. you think it would be helpful to um, your friends. Thanks for watching. This higher likelihood of you just bumping it all over the floor. That's what would happen. That has never ever happened. <laughs> What's the mm-hmm for?